The first time that people come floating at Floating Oasis, it's a wonderful experience for us and them. We get to see them walk in with kind of wonderment and, and puzzlement and they don't know really what they're in for, for the most part. They go in not knowing what to experience and they come out not really knowing what they did experience, but they loved it. And then we get to talk to them and, and, and find out why they like it. There's so many different sides of the floating. We like to say that it's for everybody. Everybody can benefit from floating and we just gotta figure out how and why they want to float. <laughs> day one for Floating Oasis has always been to help people. It has always been to connect with people and to be a place in their life where they can find that happiness, that pain-free, whatever it is that they need. We will continue each day for years and years to come to provide that safe place. We hope to continue to grow, um, add other things into our space that would help people um, with their lifestyles and help them with the mindfulness aspect of that. We just want to continue to be a part of this amazing community of Leduc and to bring something unique to Leduc. We've designed it where you are greeted with a friendly face, you're given a tutorial video explaining everything you would need. We say just bring yourself, you don't need anything else. And we have four private suites uh, with pods and so in the pods you would find everything that you might need. You start your float with some music and your float with more music but the real magic is where that silence is, where the sensory deprivation is. And so we just try to guide people to their, out of their comfort zone and to you know, what makes them feel comfortable because we know that's where most of the benefits come from. After the float, people are welcome to use our refresh room. We have all sort of things that you would need to freshen up for the day. Uh, we have a massage chair after. It's really nice to get that full body massage after zero stimulation in the pod. Uh, a lot of people hang out with us, have some tea, go in the creative corner, draw some really cool art. Um, so we just encourage people, whatever they need that day to express themselves, find themselves, it's just to take the time to do that and we supply that safe place. therapist I've been really interested in the deprivation tank because I see a lot of people with chronic pain and I, f I explain deprivation therapy is the exact opposite of physical therapy so if someone comes in for physical therapy we restore movement we make them strengthen and when they come here they rest they shut everything off it's a chance for the nervous system to relax unwind stop sending all these painless signals um, and it's a really good restoration for the body. I started floating because my mind was more settled and I was able to relax. When I got out of the pod, I noticed that um, I felt some benefits right away. First of all, I just felt a full sense of calm and relaxation. Um, that night I also had a great sleep. And the next day I noticed that um, the arthritis that I have in my neck and my hands felt a lot better. Uh, sometimes I actually go in intentionally with a work issue, so that way I have time to actually think and process about it, and nine times out of ten I actually leave the pod with a solution to that problem that I can work on the next day. We love that we get people relief from their sore aches and pains, but I, I really, really enjoy when people come out and they, they either tell me that they found the meaning of life that's happened more than once, or that they, that they had like a, a transcendental experience, or that they just even learned that they shouldn't be such a jerk to their brother, or whatever it may be. And like I actually really do believe that we're, we're making the world a better place one float at a time.